What's up, guys? So today we got uh, some important stuff to talk about. We're going to talk about the poll, the poll results and everything. And then also, we're, we're real quick, we'll talk about the updates. So I did do an update last night. I didn't make a video on it last night just because I was tired and was like, whatever. I'm going to do, do a video tomorrow on the survey anyways. Might as well just put the two together. Uh, so it was basically, uh, basically just a bunch of fixes of all the stuff that was broken. So uh, pet storage was broken. It's... Uh, it's currently disabled because it, it, the actual interface is broken too, but I didn't realize that until the very end. And that's probably something I can't fix anyways because the dark did the pet storage. Um, but like, it's item and everything, like it was broken. And then like Crystal Halberd, I think this is the correct one. Yeah, now you can wield Crystal Halberd again. Um, the full link will be in the description below if you want to just look at it right here. So combat lap. Um, so rushing potions, etc. Uh, so we fixed uh, various NPCs that were broken too, including the uh, garden pie dude. He was a sheep. Cave horrors have been fixed. The zookeeper should be fixed. Loot hunters in the elite zone should be fixed. All of the outbreak NPCs should be fixed. Uh, made a bunch of adjustments to Hydra. Uh, Hydra, actually I'll just show you some Hydra. Hail Hydra. Should've, we should have made the command. Um, so I, put, I made it closer to the door just for convenience sake. If you did it before you realize you teleport you over here and you have to run back uh, so the first phase is weak to stab and then the second phase is weak to range i gave it a little bit more health i made it so that it changes um changes styles once it's below 100 health and then um, if you do happen to kill the first phase without activating the second phase uh you'll get the loot now um, in order to accomplish that, you would need, like, a Twisted Bow or, I don't know, Dragon Hunter la Lance with max gear. Uh, so this thing does drop the Dragon Hunter Lance. Uh, well, it drops the uh, Hydra Claw, which is used on a Zamoraki and Hosta to make the Dragon Hunter Lance. Uh, it does have stats now and is working, works correctly. No, yeah, okay, wow, that was the ID. And, and it does have a damage boost against dragons, including Hydra. So you definitely want it for the first phase, and then the second phase you probably switch to Dragon Hunter Crossbow. But of course you could always just stick with this thing. It has the damage boost either way. Uh, and then also added Ferocious Gloves, uh, aka the Hydra Leather. This thing drops the Hydra Leather, um, and then you use a Golden Needle on the Hydra Leather and uh, make the Ferocious Gloves. They are the best in slot melee gloves. They are the same strength bonus as the Amaskets Gloves, but they're two higher stab. So they're technically only better if you're using Stab, because Slash and Crush would be the same. And then they also do have more defense, and they're, um, I actually gave them a little bit of range, just because for this boss specifically, you want uh, range. And the normal gloves have negative 16 range, which I, I just kind of I removed. <laughs> uh, runecrafting altars are fixed, AFK zone has been fixed, lottery tickets are now, uh, are not lottery tickets, legacy tickets are now stackable. And then the baller rank should be working correctly. Um, and that's, that was all the main things that were broken from from before. And those should be fixed. Uh, now let's get on to the important stuff. The survey. So we'll start off with the very first question that was asked. How do you feel about Second World? And um, let me just see how many responses do we have. We had 55 responses. So just keep that in mind. We had 55 people fill out the survey. So how do you feel about a second world? I want a second world is winning by 56%. You can see the vote split right here. It was 31 people in favor of a second world, 24 people against. So now the next question is how would you feel about a character reset? And that was 55% uh, in favor of a reset, 44% not wanting a reset. And you can see this, the votes are basically the same. One person abstained from the first question to the second question. And... I suppose they wanted a second world and didn't care about a reset. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so it kind of went how everyone expected it to go. Whenever you talk about something like this, it, it's never going to be 70, 30, 80. It's, it's just, like, the best best case we could have hoped for was maybe 65, 35. I mean, like, that, that, that was certainly, like, that would have been good or, or promising. But, yeah, it's just too split. And I, I want to talk about it a little bit because I know that there's going to be a lot of people on both sides of the fence that are going to have a lot of reactions. There's a lot of people that think that people who don't play the server shouldn't vote. Um, that's dumb. That's really dumb because people have played the server. They've put work into it. Probably more work than some of the people saying that. And um, like I said, 50, 54 people voted. 55, I guess. I don't know. Uh, we have we have, we have 27,000. We, we almost have 27,000 accounts. So 55 people basically decided the fate of 27 people. Now, I, I, I'm saying basically because I was never really going to do anything without like a, a lot more um, 
a lot more yeses, <laughs> basically. But yeah, I mean, there's 26,000 accounts. We can't like we can't just delete 26,000 accounts because the some of uh, the majority of the eight seven people online wanted to to get rid of the accounts. And I know I was on I was in favor of the reset. You know, I'm just giving you the, the truth. There definitely wasn't enough support. I don't know if there's enough support for a second world either. Obviously, it did pass. Both things technically passed if we're doing 51% as the requirement. But um, old school, I think, requires 75%. Maybe they've lowered that by now. I don't know. I, I don't really have a requirement. It's just based on what I feel makes the most sense. And this is like a guide based, you know, to see where the people feel. And they feel basically the same as, you know, most people. Is like, you know, either you either want it or you don't. And it's, it's kind of that way. You know, it's a reset. You lose all of your stuff. So you're either a fan of losing all of your stuff or you're you're not. <laughs> um, and another thing that some people complain about is, oh, the people who want to lose stuff are probably poor. That's that's certainly not true. Most of the people who want the eco reset are maxed people who have completed the game. And they know that the only way the game would ever be interesting to them again is a reset. So, yeah, you're probably wondering, what are we going to do? Nothing. We're not going to do anything. There is not enough influence to do one way or the other. But... I do like the idea of a second world, and if you remember, we had some follow-up questions about how do you feel about the character reset, and how do you feel about the second world. And a lot of the main things that I talked about in my video were sort of the main issues that people had in the second world. It, it's going to divide, it's gonna divide a, a player base that's already small. Um, it's going to devote attention, you know, it, 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 it's going to, yeah, no, you know, there's many issues with it. Uh, I think what we could do is something similar to old school. So old school has these like league thingies, and they're doing one soon called Twist uh, Twisted Leagues or uh, Bla Trailblazer League. That's what it's called, Trailblazer League. And it's essentially like a separate world, and everyone's going to be Iron Man. You're locked in like a certain area. You have to do tasks to get to other areas, and it's kind of like a little mini mode that's like created in a new world. And they've done it before, and I think it was I don't I, don't, I never I never did, but. It was fun and well received, and they're doing it again. And I think that's what we could use a second world for, is not necessarily just a straight up. This is revival, you know, extreme. It's just revival, but we have a fresh eco because that's that was what we're you know, you know that was the real point. Most people who wanted a second world really only care about the eco, but you know, I digress. Uh, but I, yeah, I think we could do temporary second worlds, leagues, seasons. I think we could do tons of different stuff. We could do some that are not PKing related at all. Like, the achievement is... Uh, we could do one where it's just completely normal. It's just revival, copy and pasted, and everybody gets, like, three months to do whatever. We could have high scores um, for it. We could do a ton of stuff. I think one of the, the main things that we need to, to, to keep is, in, is it to, to incentivize people to want to play it and want to actually progress the entire time would be to have, like, rewards. Um, not necessarily, like gear rewards but what i was thinking is cosmetics and not just like oh this is a blue hat that has green on it i mean like dyes like cool cool things that like let's say for example you have i don't know dragon hunter lance and you want it to be golden like we could have a golden dye it would make certain weapons golden we could have a black dye it would make certain weapons black we could have a you know this and that kind of dye because you know dark and i've talked about that we've I think i don't know where it stands right now but there was a, a black elijah spiritual which was actually going to be um, an item. That's one kind of downside with the cosmetics is like we do have <laughs> we have like unique stuff and then we have cosmetic stuff so we've got to make sure that whatever we do it's very easily identifiable that it's not like, anything different except for cosmetic. Like if it's a bridal fighter staff and we make it gold we got to make sure people realize that it, all it is is just a painted staff. Um, so there's definitely a ton of fun stuff we could do we could do um giveaways we could do a progression system like i don't know like you get a tier tier one of a weapon and then the longer you progress you get tier 10 if you make it to tier 10 you get to keep it in the live game um we could do worlds where it was pking pvp was on everywhere we could do worlds where everyone's an iron man we could do every worlds where everyone's a hardcore iron man and you're banned if you die <laughs> like we can do a ton of different stuff, and I think that that would, would work better as to not deviate from the main player base. Obviously, for that amount of time that that season was live, people would probably be playing that more than the live game. But it wouldn't be a continuous 24-7 thing. Um, so let me know what you guys think about that as just a whole entire idea. Um, if people don't like the idea of temporary seasons, I just don't think there's enough support for a full-on second world. So I think the best compromise we can come up with 
is doing that. And it's not like it's not entirely like a dead man mode idea. Like I said, it, uh, it could be um, different challenges every single time. Skilling, bossing. We could have PKing. We could do tons of different stuff. So yeah, I read the um, the things. It's pretty, basically just the same, the same kind of things we were thinking. Like spawn world. They want a spawn world. Not such an easy eco, more grind. Just these are kind of the expectations they had from it. And that was really just for like, if we did decide to do something, what you know, what would you want to see from that? Um, let's go over the other couple questions. Now they're not really important, but I'll show you the results just just for that that sake. So, which bit of content are you interested in? I should have put these questions in a different order. I should have put the other one first. Um, what should I focus my efforts on first? That's what I should have put first. Because I was wondering, like, would you rather see... What is update? Apex. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen it do that before. It, like, opened up and everything. And it's like, there's a it needs a critical update. Okay, anyways. I don't know what the hell I was saying. Um, yeah, I should put this one first. Um, I was just wondering if people, like, if people really wanted to see videos, which I, I, you know, people always do. That kind of surprised me. I didn't think people cared enough about my videos to, to, to rather have a video than an update. That just seems weird to me that there's people that would rather watch a YouTube video than the game update. I guess you're just kind of hoping you, for both, really, that's the goal. And obviously we, we, we are going to try to accomplish all of them. It's just like, which one do you want? First. And game updates was obviously that, so we did do the bug uh, fixes, all that update um, last night. And then as far as in-game updates, uh, well, that would, that's what we're going to talk about next. So which bit of content are you most interested in? Uh, adding the OSRS stuff, that's that's the main one people wanted. And then bosses was number two. These two are going to kind of come together, obviously, because like all, most of the... I gotta learn. I really need to like learn about the OSRS content and see what we're missing and like what it even does. Um... If there's anything you know for sure we're missing um, and you want it, let me know about it. Let me know what it is, where it's from, and I'll figure that out. Um, but that's probably going to be the number one goal is to get as much of that kind of stuff out as possible. Um, and then we'll, we'll probably include some bossing, and it'll probably include some quests, even though quests will be up to. <laughs> and for people who always ask about PKing, I'm sorry. I know, like, I know, I know it's fun. It's just not, it's just not where pri people's priorities are. I think most people don't even, like... I think most people would never PK even if we had it perfect. I think if we had 100% perfect PK, you would still wouldn't see people out there. Now, when they did go out there, they'd have a better time, but <laughs> you still wouldn't see it. Um, and then, what should I focus my efforts on? Yeah, you saw that. Um, this one was just, like, what's the most... I, I was just trying to get, like, one specific one. Most people reported the stuff that I did last... That, like, the, you know, the obvious stuff that I just fixed. So, that's good. I was able to get a lot of that done. Um, there's a couple things I still have to look out. And then, um, okay, yeah, which, which attack style, I knew there was more questions. Which attack style is the best, would you say? Melee, range, magic in that order. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, I think it would be awesome if we could get it to a point where all three of them were equal. This is about where I expected, although I honestly thought range might be higher, but I suppose melee is better in general. And that was kind of what I was trying to ask the question for, was in general. Which of these new skills, ideas sounds the most fun to you, most interesting? Um, so I'm, I'm really glad people voted for rating, because that's my favorite one, too. I don't like to influence these polls. I try not to give my opinion, because my opinion will, like... I don't know, it just makes it kind of cloudy. And a lot of people will just go with whatever I think, rather than what they actually thought themselves. So I didn't try to give my opinion, but rating was definitely my favorite one. Uh, it's, in my head, it's kind of an idea between, like, heists... Pi you're basically a pirate, a pirate slash thief. You're gonna go on heists. Um, you'll you'll do. It's a combination of sailing and dungeoneering. Basically, you will raid other people's pirate ships. You will go in a dungeon and kill a boss. You will rob a bank. That's kind of my idea for it. Um, I don't know when you'll see this. This is this is like the very first step of creating a new skill. It's figuring out what it's going to even be. Um, so I'm glad people like that idea. That was my favorite. I also like summoning too. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, if, if this server, like, makes it another three, four years, I would not be surprised if we had something at some point. I wouldn't be surprised if old school had something at, at some point, honestly. I think it's only a matter of time before old school, like, it passes a, a poll, because, you know, that's just kind of, that's just kind of how it goes. People, like, eventually over time will be like, yeah, okay, I think it's time now. Now we have so many other crazy things, I don't think summoning would be crazy. So, yeah, I like the fact that rating won that. That's definitely my favorite one, and, um... Yeah, as far as making a new skill goes, it's definitely something I want to do. I don't... We got to figure it out, because, like, 
Where would it go? It's also weird if we add a new skill and then old school also adds a brand new skill. Because then we have to like rush to add that skill. But I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's, a, that's not a problem we really have to worry about. We've got a lot more important things we should focus on first. But yeah, I'm a fan of that. Uh, so then, yeah, the giveaway, I will, we had 50, if we had 47 responses, because some people just abstain, they don't play the game, and they don't care. I will do a randomizer right now, and we will see who wins, so, okay, so, the first, how I'm doing it, how, how I'm gonna do it, is, um, so I'm all the way at the bottom, Iron Ginger is number one, and then all the way at the top, he, Infinity is 47, so that's how I'm gonna do it. Okay, I probably should have generated it on camera. I'm going to do it two more times. All right, one more time. This is the final number. 26. Okay, cool. Okay. I don't know. All right, all right, all right. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I guess I can just do... I can just smack with him. Yeah, can't skip anybody. I never do this. I don't know. People don't even care. People never care about the giveaways. I think care, kind of. Like, I don't know. It's weird to me that giveaways are such, like, a big part of YouTube or SPS community, and they're always, like, the spam videos and everything like that, because I just hate giveaways. Is it really can use bank? Yeah, can use bank. <laughs> There's 26, right? Yeah, yeah, can use bank. You win a $100 bond you don't need, but... Hey, maybe he does need it. He has Iron Man, so shit, man. When your Iron Man gets him on. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, check out the update post. It will be in the description below. If you have any uh, any ideas, any comments, any suggestions, I'm not going to make any new per polls or surveys. Just comment to this video or tell me in-game, whatever either works. Thanks for watching, guys. See you.